Um, the next topic will be uh, community-driven DAO for storage by Charles Cow, who is not just a um, entrepreneur. Um, he also built multiple businesses. He's a storage provider. He's also a software developer, has multiple teams, and today he's dressed up in a special outfit uh, to share all the ecosystem partners he works with. So please welcome Charles. He's the CEO of Phil Swan, and he's going to talk a little bit more about a community driven DAO for storage. Charles, welcome. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. I hope you guys like this dress up. So basically, like, uh, yeah, I'm Charles. So I working for first one, and uh, actually we started the project before even mainland launch. So here we want to see that we see that the Firecoin has been growing up over the years. We have uh, lots of projects. We have lots of storage providers. So we think it's a time we can building a bigger community, not just us, but also with uh, other blockchains, other communities together. So that's why I dress like this. This is what we have done in the past uh, few months. So first one is a project building on cross-chain. So we have been working with, uh, for sure, we, uh, the first uh, startup firm from Firecoin ecosystem. Then we recently selected as the Balance Incubator Project. So we are bringing Balance Chain to store their data on Firecoin. And uh, we're also doing the Polygon cross-chain networks so people can start a payment, save data from Polygon to us. And also we are using the Chainlink Data Oracle technology to do the data provider services. People will know that they actually get the story on time proof. We're also working with the rendering token, Gitcoin fundraising, and also Ocean Protocol about a big data analysis. So this is what we want to show everybody. We are a community not just in storage, but beyond storage. So, um, so today we are trying to think about set up a DAO organization to enable people to do decentralized data storage services and without a bundle organization. We know that there are lots of people in the world, they have limited data access to Amazon services, Google services, they cannot even access Google services, storage. And so even you know what recently happens between the war, Russian and uh, Ukraine, the AWS cut off of their storage services. Why? It doesn't make sense, right? I have the data, that's my data, why you don't allow me access my data? It doesn't make sense. So, Firecoin as a decentralized network, we have over 6,000 nodes, over 17 gigabyte storage. It's a good time to build a community, let people access their data anywhere, at any time. Yeah, but that was something like we needed to do before that. We need a leading mind web three. We need a developers hack and building new thing. Okay. So this is uh, from the data storage uses. There are five user concerns we start the, when we store the data over the cloud. Data ownership, governance instruction, server locations, cost support, outage of services. Those are very critical things when people start using storage services. How can you make sure your data is yourself, not belong to AWS or Google, right? How can make sure like when government want to invest in what you stored and uh, cut off your ownership? And uh, where is that server located, right? In US or in Canada or in Europe? GDPR protections, we want to know those ones. So those things, um, it's uh, for AWS or Google, you don't really know where it's stored. But on Firecoin, you have the node ID you have the PR ID, right? You have, uh, you can encrypt your data with your key and upload to Firecoin, and then you can access it with different backups globally. So that's an advantage to building that. And this is uh, what we should have as a dot organization to provide services, to make them more user-friendly. We have three different roles in the ecosystem 
One is an enterprise, one is storage provider, and then one is token holder. We need to work in together. So enterprise has strong needs from a storage provider, but they need to us SDKs, software bridging, payment solutions. They need developer develop those bridges. While enterprise with token holder interactions, they need payment, they need building the apps, access with MetaMask or other ledger services to access to the assets. The storage provider needed collateral to doing storage services. They need to access to the capital, the token holders, exchanges, those things to make them working more frequent, more easily. So it's services, it's not just the store data. When everything adding together, we need the organization, but we don't want a central controlled organization to provide those services. So this is where be the DAO we are going to build. Different roles in the communities provide different services. So we, first of all, we need lots of tools to accelerate the process. We need, a, as a DAO services, we need a business development. We need a team or people who access to the high quality of data, like universities, like public computing for good, like neural data, climate data, right, COVID-19 data. We need access, we need a business development team to working on that. We need onboarding new customers to the platform, the platform or ecosystem, right? There are lots of platform, they want data, they want a user, they want a customer, but who invests, right? Everybody, every storage provider benefits from token price increasing, but you need to do those kind of work. Who invests? How the investment from the beneficial of a storage provider 10 plus years benefit the society? So that's a big question. And the risk of the financial and auditing. We have governments, right, about your token sale, about your money income, how can you make your service legal? Right? Don't cross the board. Don't do something malicious. You need those kind of services. And then protections. You need the protection of privacy. Some people want to delete the data or hide in the data they don't want to show. Do we need to support that or not support that? So those questions need a dedicated team to support them. So, we as a uh, first one as a project, open source project, we already doing lots of things like multi-chain storage, supported by Firecoin Foundations, Chainlink, Binance Labs. So we enable people to start uh, like using a simple interface, connecting your MetaMask, doing a cross-chain payment, and uh, data proofing on-chain. So this one example can let the developers Directly using access SDKs, develop an easy product. And uh, you can even doing a mint by one click. You can just click the upload files. By the way, if anybody wants to contact me, you can put the e connect email here. Yeah, and then you can see the different storage providers on different cases. And uh, for the storage provider, like lots of community storage providers don't have the capability to optimize the uh, Lutus. They cannot like accelerate the uh, process. They have lots of things, different hardware, they need optimization, right? And we know that lots of them have difficulty to get uh, data deals. We know that verify deals. I know that there was a lots of data cap allocated in the community, but how to use that? How to allocate that? We do build a market maker engine, automatically dispatch the data cap to different storage providers, especially small ones. So it's a very lower the barrier for them to enter into storage mining. With adding the storage provider with us, you can get dedicated data allocation every day. It will accelerate uh, your process of selling services. Those data are coming from the screenshot and the NFT storage with the previous slides you see, those applications. And this is the one company of data we showed about two years ago, it's still working. Juan C showed this demo yesterday. Um, this is the deep learning, machine learning services on GPU network. They will reuse the 
sailing server, currently we are using for sailing data on Firecore network. We have a script to help you to get IPFS, machine learning, Mini or S3 compatible machine learning, and we have different services. Um, it will, like, uh, after the training, it will show the different uh, space of the monkeys. And you can use the data, and you can get some income from the shared revenue of a storage providing. We also have a S3 compatible product, which we probably were working with Seagate, to provide uploading data and uh, schedule a backup to different frequent nodes. And those are the uh, service kit we can provide and we are contributed to the DAO organizations. And like uh, we are going to have a Firecoin Toronto submit in July 4th to 6th. And it will come with a hack zone with over $50,000 bounties for people and the developers using the product, building the system. Now we are core for participants. We have uh, those companies, Origin Storage, Picnic, Telenex, and the Secure Finance, they would like to join us building the DAO together. They are storage providers, ecosystem builders, and uh, financial token holders. And uh, I hope you guys like it. Any questions? Right. Thank you.